Hi everyone, I'm Darren Lim and I'm the author of Ace Agent Spy Cat and The Flying Sidekick. So the Ace Agent Spy Cat series uh, revolves around the escapades of Spy Cat, who is a Singaporean agent with a crime fighting organisation named Feline. Uh, Feline stands for the First Enforcement League for International Emergencies, um, and its agents come from all corners of the globe. Ace Agent Spy Cat and the Flying Sidekick is the first book in the series, and in it, Spy Cat meets his new partner Rock Cat, um, and they go off on a mission together to uh, stop the Penguin King Blackwing, um, who has uh, frozen the island of Boracay in the Philippines. Uh, so yes, at its core, it's a story about snow in a tropical country. Um, I guess it's something that many Singaporeans, including myself, uh, fantasize about sometimes. So let me tell you more about how Ace Agent Spy Cat got started. Uh, back in 2010-2011, I was an animation student at the School of Art, Design and Media at NTU. Uh, that's Nanya Technological University. I was in my final year and it was time to do a final year project, an animated short film. So while thinking of what to do for this short film, I remember the cats that my relatives owned, how they would disappear and hide, you know, sometimes for hours on end, and I would imagine them, you know, um, going off on adventures uh, without anyone knowing. So these memories served as an inspiration, and I soon came up with a story about a pet cat who goes off on secret missions when his owner was asleep. Um, I then teamed up with a bunch of my animation schoolmates. Uh, we worked really, really hard together, and we managed to finish a film called Spy Cat and the Paper Chase. Now, Spy Cat and the Paper Chase didn't just end with graduation like many other FYPs. Um, I actively sent the film out to film festivals, and soon enough, it was showing at animation and children's film festivals everywhere, both locally and overseas. Um, it was seen in um, 33 countries, over 5 continents, uh, and it picked up awards including uh, the Best Shot Film Award at the 42nd Gifoni Film Festival, which is one of the top children's film festivals in the world. This was an especially meaningful award because it was decided entirely from the votes of an audience of uh, hundreds of Italian children. You no, know, we won the top prize. I was there at the festival and I was just so taken aback by what had happened that uh, I was at a loss for words. Um, when I went on stage, all I could say was uh, thank you. So, uh, having been to some of these festivals, both locally and overseas, uh, it's been a real treat to see children from all over the world enjoy Spy Cat, uh, even when it's dubbed or subtitled in another language. And it's been nice to overhear kids say that they love Spy Cat or see them imitate characters from the film and not know at all that the creator of Spy Cat is standing nearby listening. So, when the film festival circuit was mostly done after about two years, um, I knew I wanted to tell more Spy Kid stories, but um, instead of making more cartoons, which is one of the most labour-intensive things anyone can do, um, I decided to write Spy Kid books. The concept changed slightly during the process and Spy Kid became an anthropomorphic cat and was no longer someone's pet, uh, but by and large, the spirit and concept of the film uh, remains in the book. After secretly writing Spy Cat books uh, for years, after work and weekends, you know, I eventually got Epigram Books interested and uh, here we are, and uh, here I am telling you my story. So Ace Agent Spy Cat and the Flying Sidekick is the first book in the series and it uh, promises to thrill and to tickle young readers. Uh, we have beautiful illustrations by Lai Hui Li and the book is also full of trivia for kids to learn while having fun, which is a plus. Um, that's all from me, I hope you enjoyed the book and do follow Ace Agent Spy Cat on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching, stay safe, goodbye.